Today we're going to image transfer to many different surfaces and we're going to use a special pen to do it. But don't worry, at the end of this video I will show you what else you can use if you don't have this pen. Okay, so now let's start. So yeah, today I'm going to use a blender pen for the transfer. And there's a link to the pen and all the supplies I'm using today below this video. So first I'm going to transfer my image onto paper, basically transfer onto my journal. And I'm transferring a color photocopy. I place the image face down and tape it with removable tape so it doesn't move during transfer. Now I use the blender pen and apply it to the back of my image. I use a bone folder to burnish it a little but you can use any other tool. Looks good, but I'm going to go over some areas which didn't transfer so well. Okay, done. This was too easy. So now let's try the same thing, but this time transfer our image to wood. I really like those vintage images and how they look uh, on wood. And this image was printed with my laser printer. And pretty much I'm going to do the same thing, so let's fast forward. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my latest book, the Mixed Media Photography book. It has tons of fun inkjet and laser photo transfer methods, as well as other photo art uh, processes. So yeah, check out the links to the book below this video. Next, I'm going to transfer to glass. You can use the glass as is, but I like to spray it with a frosted glass spray. I just prefer that look, but it's just a matter of preference. This time I'm going to use one of my photos which I took in New York. And again I printed this photo with my laser printer. In case you're wondering, I usually use glass paint which I take out of the frame and place it back when I'm done. And then it's ready to be hung on the wall. And if you're interested in learning how to image transfer and gel print your own photos, make sure to check out my online classes. They are fun and easy, and they're also ongoing, which means you can sign up immediately and take them at your own pace. Whenever you have time, no pressure. So if you're interested, check out the links to the online classes below this video. Okay, so now I should try fabric. And I'm going to transfer to 100% cotton. And you know, I like trees. <laughs> I think they're awesome.
Isn't it great? You can uh, pretty much design your own fabric. Next, I'm going to try ceramics. This one can be a coaster, but I think I'm going to transfer to this coffee mug, just like I did here. And this time, instead of transferring an image, I'm going to transfer text, uh, just so you can see how it works. And of course, I flipped the text before printing it, uh, again with my laser printer. Because the ceramic cup is so smooth, I apply the blender pen very carefully so it doesn't smear. And now I'm actually going to try to transfer to metal. And I'm going to transfer a vintage ad which I laser printed. It's a little hard to see on camera because the metal is shiny, but the transfer came out very nice. Okay, so now let's talk about the blender pen and what you can do when it's used up or even if you don't have one. This particular blender pen works because it contains xylene. And I found this xylene replacement in a hardware store uh, which works just the same. And please keep in mind that this is a chemical and therefore you should work in a well-ventilated area. So you can refill your blender pan by removing the tip and using an eyedropper carefully fill up your pan with the xylene replacement. And if you don't have xylene or don't want to use it, you can actually use 100% acetone it works just fine. And also if you can't find a blender pen, you can actually get an empty refillable marker and use it instead. You can get a marker with a really wide tip so it's easier to work on large areas. And again, you can refill these markers with the xylene replacement or 100% acetone. So yeah, I had a lot of fun testing these different surfaces. Let me know in the comments below which one of these surfaces was your favorite. And thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below this video. And I'll see you in the next video.